again versus Juice as the Zerg. Absolutely showing massive, massive fungal growths and baneling explosions. I love baneling explosions more than I do nukes. I, I just love banelings. They're amazing. And uh, indeed, we have started this. So Let's Go Wild is going to be spawning in the bottom left position here as the Teal Terran, whilst Juice is going to be spawning as the Yellow Zerg up in the top right. And uh, Juice is Overlord going in the wrong direction already. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Two-player map, yo. We know what's going on. And... Uh, I'm interested to see the route that Juice does take. Will he go for the uh, expansion first, or will he go for the spawning pool with Extractor? Both plays could be very, very viable. Depending on the route that Let's Go Wild takes, will he go for any kind of early pressure, or mic off? Uh, mic off? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> um, one sec. I don't think so. Joking? Oh, bloody! Not very nice. So, <laughs> so juice is gonna be <laughs> you bastard. Um, let's go wild is gonna be walling in here. I'm gonna put myself on busy. No, I'm not having it anymore. Sorry, I'm busy. Ha ha ha! Let's go wild is gonna be walling off here and uh, <laughs> juice at the same time looking to what looks like he's not doing anything just yet. I, again, I would like to see an early expansion. He's going to be moving a drone over there very quickly, so it looks like an early expansion is on the cards. Let's Go Wild at the same time, though, is going to be walling off, as you can see, up at the top of his base. So, um, I won't be surprised. Oh, but he does see it. He only just didn't miss denying that expansion, so that would have been a bit of a blunder um, if uh, Juice were to allow that to occur. And uh, now, let's get wild. Let's get wild. <laughs> let's go wild. Um, you know, he sees that it it's there. Will he go for a second Rax? We'll have to see. But Juice at the same time does have a drone in the main, so he's going to be stealing the extractor um, in order to, you know, <laughs> just keep his drone for alive for as long as possible. He wants to see if the second Rax does go down, because if it does, he'll know to be in an extra careful defensive posture. And uh, we do have that spawning pool going down as well for Juice. And now, not much else going on. Uh, <laughs> let's go wild. Just scouting around the map multiple of times uh, in order to see what is going on. Would like to see a marine come out for Juice in order to be able to. <laughs> um, would like to see a marine come out for Let's Go Wild in order to be able to just deny that drone. It looks like he wanted to. Ex ah, there you go. He's going to be throwing down a proxy rack in order to be able to see if he can do some early pressure and um, we'll have to see what is going on right now. Uh, the lone marine here going to be trying to deny this. The extractor does indeed go down again. He'll need more than one marine in order to be able to deny that. But this is actually a very clever play from Let's Go Wild at this point. Ultimately he's not playing, he's not putting the barracks down a set, oh my god. Three Barrett, this this could get ugly. But at the same time, Juice does have some Zerglings on the way, so he could deny this very easily, given the fact that um, we may see we may see bonkers going down. We'll have to see. But yeah, as I was coming back, let's come back to that point that I was making before. Let's go wild. He's placing the barracks over there. F what on earth? Are you kidding? Three barracks, three proxy barracks now going down for let's go wild. And oh, this could be scouted. It's scouted. He knows it's there. He uses the four barracks. What on earth is going on? This is ridiculous. Let's go wild is playing for the funsies. This is insane. And uh, a lone marine is here, trying to stand against these zerglings, but he's not going to be able to. These zerglings are going to be able to deny this, and this is not good for Let's Go Wild at this point. He is in a very bad position, having that scouted out. Would have been a lot better to put that out of tower vision, lifting up all these barracks now, and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, going to be a bit behind. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I would like to see Let's Go Wild go for maybe an expansion on the high ground now. Float these back. Uh, he's going to be placing them on the top ground. Interesting choice. And uh, actually using a nice positioning on these Marines in order to let them not get completely surrounded. But indeed they do get surrounded. And that is going to be it for those Marines. So now leaving a lone Zergling there. Very clever. Keeping an eye on where those two barracks do go. And uh, we do have a lot more Zerglings now just funneling down here. More barracks now going down for Let's Go Wild. And Let's Go Wild kind of really in a bad position. This base up at the base... Uh, up at the natural of juice is going to get up and running anytime soon. Would like to see more drones there. Another spine crawler going down here. I'm not sure that's quite necessary as this that initial push was thwarted very very easily. And now juice is just going to contain in essence uh, the Terran in order to be able to just keep this game going. 
So now, Jesus, let's go wild. You are a crazy man. Uh, more barracks going down. These two barracks are going to be floating back to the base. And uh, it looks like Let's Go Wild's going to be going for some kind of crazy TLO style marine all in off one base with a million racks. So, I mean, yeah, indeed, we have a lot of Marines queued up here. Just going to be scouting up to the top to see if he can deny any Overlord scouting. There is an Overlord there, and he does see it with the Marines, so he'll be able to deny that scouting. Uh, but at the same time, you know, Let's Go Wild is going to have to pull out all the stops here when it comes to this push if he actually goes for it, um, as there's going to be a significant amount of defense for Juice uh, if he realizes any weird shenanigans are going on. And I can't help but feel that Juice will realize that this is going on, considering the fact that the Zergling is in this position right now, noticing that there is no expansion going down, and uh, a lot of mar Marines now coming out for Let's Go Wild. So it's going to be all whether or not he can actually get them into a good position, not just be able to deny. Good scan going down here, noticing that the Baneling Nest is there. Uh, but at the same time, what can Let's Go Wild do about this? The Baneling Nest will be able to do a significant amount of damage here. And... Um, be very interested in all, all the oh my god this is bit by bit right here bringing out a lot of SCVs leaving a few behind in order to be able to keep continuing the uh, marine production uh, but at the same time Juice is just trying to break down these rocks to be able to secure his third but he now knows that this is pretty much an all in here from this point spotted by the Zergling once again he knows doubly sure that this is coming and uh, this could get very very dirty a l oh my god a lot of Banelings morphing in right now this could get very ugly indeed more Zerglings on the way. This Queen is going to be coming down to reinforce. A Creep Tumor going down wisely in order to be able to connect these bases. The SCVs start to engage in the Spine Crawlers, but it's just not enough. This, this is going to be cleaned up very easily. Juice is going to be able to mash this if he gets the opportunity. Wants to move around with the Zerglings, surround the units, and all oh, the Painlings! Oh! Taking out a significant amount of units. <laughs> and, uh... I'm not sure what Let's Go Wild's going to be able to do from here. <laughs> oh my god, Banelings, Banelings. We love Banelings. <laughs> so Juice in a good position, I would say, as uh, more Marines do <laughs> rally over for Let's Go Wild at this point. But, you know, considering this base should... I mean, he really should get this saturated as quickly as possible in order to be able to continue this bait game and uh, just overpower his opponent. Uh, but now actually going to be able to move down here, maybe trying to get us around, but does not indeed, just backs, oh excuse me, backs away wisely, and uh, now Juice is in such a good position, Let's Go Wild needs to, in essence, needs to continue this push uh, until he is completely dead, he really can't expand behind this, catching up in the economy game would be extremely hard in this point, but at the same time these all-ins are going to be extremely hard as well, I really don't see where Let's Go Wild can go from here, more Banelings being morphed in, Baneling speed on the way, so that is going to even secure Jews a much, uh, much stronger defense in uh, in counteract these uh, Marines. And you know, I've got to say, let's go wild on the back ropes, indeed. So now, Stim and Combat Shields coming on the way now for uh, Let's Go Wild, and ultimately he really needs to stim back in order to be able to kind of avoid the Banelings, etc. But, you know, he's not going to have enough Marines in order to be able to deal with this um, crazy amount of Zerglings, as well as more Banelings morphing in, more Extractors going up, and an Infestation Pit going up as well. So, ultimately, if <laughs> if Let's Go Wild delays this any longer, we're going to have uh, um, glands on the way for those Infestors, and no doubt some uh, Fungal Ghosts landing on these units, which will prove extremely, extremely tough for Let's Go Wild to deal with. Uh, as Marines just melt to Investor Baneling. <laughs> how, how do you count Investor Baneling with Marines? It just doesn't happen. So indeed, we do have Pathogen Glands on the way for Juice. Very nice there. And uh, Let's Go Wild just continuing to produce these Marines. It really is a case of he just needs to kind of move in with this all-in and win, but it's not going to work. I really don't think more creep spread going for Juice now. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing creep spread down this avenue of attack, because if this avenue of attack is utilized, Stim is going to be all the more potent, um, As put, since the uh, Banelings wouldn't actually be on creep on this side, so we'll have to see what does go on. It's ever so slightly dis supply blocked, as there was a scouting overlord, just checking to see what was going on. And now, let's go wild, moving back... Is he going to try and secure his gold? If he tries to secure his gold, I'll be interested. Um, I, 
I personally don't see a way that Let's Go Wild can get himself back into this. I mean, Pathogen Glands on the way, and almost, in fact, has finished now. Infestor's on the way, and he is trying to secure the goal. He realizes that it's all in wood wasn't going to do anything. So, I mean, the the safest, in inverted commas, route is to try and get up your economy, but at this late stage, I'm really not sure how that's going to work out. Uh, although, that being said, the economy is very, very even right now. Juice really not droning up at his natural as much as I would like to see. And uh, let's go wild, just scouting out any other location, not to be able to see it all, but there could be a big surround going down here. Not as many Banelings as I would like, but a Stim does go down from some of these units. Oh, but the Banelings connect! And a huge surround goes down on all these Marines, and that is cleaned up very, very quickly. And now, bad news bears for Let's Go Wild, as he's just going to... This expansion is going to be denied very fast. And now, I feel that this was inevitable inevitable from, like, minute 7 or something like that. Uh, Juice is just going to be able to press his advantage here. Baneling bust this, probably. Push in for the victory. And now a lot of Banelings coming out for Juice. And Let's Go Wild is in such a bad spot. These Banelings going to be able to move in anytime soon once they've hatched. And with Baneling speed, there's going to be very little that Let's Go Wild can do against this. Lots of Marines here out to deny. And the Banelings do roll in. They're going to be able to... Oh, that's so much damage and no split. Oh, and all the Marines do fall. And now <laughs> the Zerglings and Infestors are going to be here to clean up. Let's Go Wild. Banelings OP. Juice takes the series 2-1. And a nice fungal growth on those SCVs to clean up the